Okay, in this video I want to do an example of factoring a perfect square trinomial. And I've jotted the two formulas down here at the bottom. It says if you have something squared, so a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared, it says if you can kind of recognize that that's what's happening, you can actually factor that as a plus b times a plus b. If the, uh, the coefficient on the ab term, instead of being positive 2, if it's a negative 2, the only thing that's going to change is inside the parentheses, you'll get a couple negatives. So, in this one, let's factor uh, 9x squared plus 24xy plus 16y squared. And just to kind of emphasize that formula, it says you need to write the first thing as something squared. Well, I could rewrite 9x squared as, I could put 3x in parentheses and then square it. So I, if I multiply this out, if I square it, 3 squared will be 9, and x squared is x squared. Um, let's see, I'm going to also do the same thing for my 16y squared. We'll come back to the middle term. Notice I could write that as 4y all squared. And notice now if I take 2 times 3x times 4y. So if I multiply all this together, I'll get my 24xy back. And now we have this, this pattern, this formula that we saw just a second ago. This is our a, uh, here's our a again. This is what we labeled as our b term. So here we are multiplying it by b, and notice we're multiplying it by 2. So we do have this formula of uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared if we were to rewrite it. So typically what I do though, I kind of don't really, honestly, I don't really recognize this so much. You know, typically if I see a problem like this and I have to factor it, um, I kind of just cross my fingers and hope that things work. Um, and if not, I, I start changing them. But uh, I think, well, again, in the first set of parentheses, uh, in each of the, in each of the parentheses, the first term, to get a 9x squared, well, to get an x squared, I'm going to need an x and an x. And then one thing I recognize is, hey, 9 is a nice uh, 